Welcome folks, Technivers here. This is Kira. Now Kira is a 3D object slicing application. It's used in conjunction with your 3D printer to make almost anything. But how does it work? Stick around and find out. We'll go over each setting one by one, each in five minutes or less. And be sure to bookmark this playlist and hit that subscribe button. Please feel free to share. It helps us out a ton. And now without further ado, today on Kira Settings in 5 Minutes or Less 2021 Edition. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. And again, for the next setting, we're going to lump a couple of them together. We're going to be talking about the top surface, and it's basically going to cover everything in the side here from top surface skin layers down to top bottom pattern. The first thing we want to do is take a look at top surface skin layers. Right now, there are zero. Um, this is basically saying uh, this this is our highest quality surface. We want to make sure that there is a top surface skin layer. Uh, we might want two or three of them, but we want at least one because if you're going to use the ironing feature, it needs to have a skin. So we'll slice this real quick. And here we are all sliced up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to check out the top layer here. So I'm going to show you, as you can see, we have 0.14 for the bottom and top thickness, and that is giving us seven layers. I'll explain that in just a minute, but first let's click on this and we'll hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we are just below those layers. Okay. And you can see that the infill is starting to show through. So for the next seven layers, it's going to print an extra it's going to do a top surface basically um, and I'm encouraging you to look at this piece here these parts are a little hard to tell because of the geometry but this is a flat piece and you can see as I scroll through it the next layer is uh, surface and it'll go through several top surface layers before it finally does the skin layer on the top the reason that these are set to 1.4 here is because my nozzle width does not matter for this setting. It's not a multiple of my nozzle width. What this is is a multiple of my layer height. So basically, if you take 1.4 and you divide it by our layer height of 0.2, you get seven. That is 7.2 millimeter layers, and that is where it is calculating this from. And it does the same thing for the bottom. The bottom is basically the same. You're gonna get a different surface finish on your bottom, depending on what surface you're printing on. Glass will give you something really smooth. And there are other options as well, but it's generally not going to be the same look as the top of your model unless you do some post-processing and finishing and sand them both to get them both to look about the same. This property is really, really important for things like signs, large objects that have low height and are super flat. You're going to want to use a lot of surface skin layers, not a lot, you want two, two or three. Um, at least one and you want to use that in conjunction with the ironing mode that we'll talk about later for now All you really need to know is you want to make sure that you have a fair amount of Surface layers on the top of your model so that the infill doesn't show through Well guys that about wraps it up Don't forget to leave a like on this video and smash that subscribe button Ring the notification bell so you can get notified about future videos. And on a side note, make sure you check out our new webpage. The website is technivore.club. That's T-E-C-H-N-I-V-O-R-E dot C-L-U-B. And on that site, you can find all sorts of stuff relating to the channel here, as well as some awesome affiliate links for you to purchase printers and printer supplies, which helps the channel grow quite a bit. So definitely check that out. We appreciate you stopping by.